All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be breaking down this beat I made today. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of ragey, kind of like some crazy trap stuff. I'm not quite sure what genre to put it in, but it's fire. And I think the layering is something you guys could definitely, I don't wanna say learn from, cause I don't wanna claim like I know everything, but this is a really good example of layering if that's something you're struggling with. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So I've got this synth called Sector here today and pretty fire, looks like this. And for the most part, I've used the leads category in here. And for the first sound, we've got this brass type lead playing this pattern we're in c minor and one thing to note is i've turned on the portamento time so that the notes slide between each other and this is what it sounds like So pretty basic, pitch this down to the same octave. You can see that we're uh, using a lot of semitones here because I like the suspense and the dark feel that it brings. So we got a semitone here, here, and here. I like how that sounds. And something to notice here is at the end of every phrase, we land on the fifth, which is G. So we're going between the root of the scale and the fifth is a great sort of semi-resolution. It doesn't entirely resolve unless you land on the one, but a great way to resolve a section of the melody is to land on the fifth, which is what I've done twice. And then towards the end, I actually do resolve on the root, which is just pitched up an octave. But yeah, apart from that, pretty straightforward. I went ahead and used the lead category again in Sector, and I went with this evil super saw, and I layered that with the original sound, playing a very similar melody using the same root notes and these semitones here. However, the melody is slightly different and it's offset about two bars. So they're playing at different times. So you can, you can sort of hear the difference between the two instruments. But this is what this one sounds like on its own. Again, that portamento slide makes it sound super fire. Now together. Together, they layer super well. I feel like the first sound has a little bit more sub frequencies and the high end of each of the sounds layer so nicely the similar sounds but they sort of complement each other if that makes sense and it sounds quite ragey if you know what i mean and i love that sound so yeah they're the first two instruments the third sound we have here is another lead it's called lil john loves it in sector and this one's occupying a lot of the higher frequency range because apart from the distortion and like the super saw, uh, we don't really have an instrument in the high end. And I did want a counter melody on top of those two original instruments. So this one sounds like this. So you can hear these first three Phrases don't resolve until the end of the eight bars, which is something to take note of. So there's a lot of tension that is released in the end, and I think that's really good and really important for a great melody. But this D sharp and G are all part of a C minor triad, which helps a lot when it's trying to sound good on top of what we've already got in the C minor scale. Moving on, we've got another sound. I wanted another bigger, high energy sound for the hook. So I brought this instrument in. We've got a lot of octaves playing here, which emphasizes the melody that it's playing. But by itself, it sounds like this. Super fire. I think that sound brings the energy up a lot when we get into the hook. Finally, we've got a pluck from Sector. I'm using a lot of seventh chords here that are just arpeggiated. We've got a C minor seven here and here, and then we've got a G minor seven, which is the fifth. 
back up to C minus seven and C minus seven again. These two arpeggiate in opposite directions. This one up and this one's down, which gives a little bit of variation. And we've just got a run of notes between D sharp and the fifth G here, which I thought it sounded pretty cool. Notice it starts on a semitone and ends on a semitone. I think that sounded really cool. And uh, this one's the same. It's just picked up an octave to this one. And that repeats four bars. But on its own, it sounds like this. I like that it was a little bit deeper in the in the low mids to mids range. And you can notice when I'm trying to layer sounds, I'm trying to give them their own frequency space. I'm not layering a bunch of sounds that are occupying the same space. And if I am, I'm not playing them all at the same time. One is perhaps for the verse, one's perhaps for the hook. They're not all playing at the same time in the song. So if I do have too many sounds, often it comes down to arrangement and making sure they're not all playing at the same time and clashing. So if you find you have a lot of sounds occupying the same frequency range, but you want to use them all, just vary them throughout your arrangement and you'll have no issues. So for the final sound here for the hook, I didn't really like how this sounded. So what I did is I went into the mixer here. I threw an EQ on here, cut out the lows and the very high highs. I put a ping bong delay on here, two quarter note delays. I've done this before a couple of times uh, with a little bit of feedback and I brought the mix level down quite far because I didn't want it to be too loud. And I've got this slight side chain filter here with the tail filter. This is free plugging, by the way. You should go cop it if you want to use the free side chain. And then I've got this glitch, which reverses and does a other bunch of different effects. If you want effect tricks, but you don't want to buy it, this is a free alternative, it's super fire. And then I threw halftime gross beat onto it as well. So I rendered that out. I recorded the first two bars of this as an audio file. I also pitched it up an octave, so it's not as low. And it sounds like this. Now with all the melody instruments, it sounds like this. I've got this fourth sector playing here in the verse for a little bit of variation. So this is a high one and this high one is in the hook as well. That lead, so they're not playing at the same time and they're not clashing. So as I was mentioned before, arrangement is key. So moving on to the drums, I've got this best say out away from Trifreeze's free drum pack. Super fire, very simple, just playing on the uh, root note C. Very basic 808 bounce. And I've got this uh, triplet roll, two octaves above fading in, and I've got the pan getting wider and wider as the notes play as well, so it sounds like this. Got this kick that just follows that. Very nice. I've also got this hi-hat that plays with the 808 to give it a little bit of high end. All those three together sound like this. Notice I haven't got the kick on the high 808s because often I find it doesn't sound very good. Next I have this hi-hat. And something I do quite often, which you should as well, if you want a little bit more bounce in your hi-hats, is you go to this wrench tool and you just play with this shift knob. Usually I have it between about a quarter and half turns up here. And what that does is just slightly shifts the hi-hat playing slightly off grid. The MIDI doesn't actually come off grid but the sound plays slightly off grid. I've got this really basic hi-hat pattern. Uh, the first beat has got a triplet bounce and you go back to quarter bounce here for the first bit and then that just repeats however when we get to the end of the first four bars i've got this roll again where you just go to this magnet and you go to sixth step and you just you cut on the first grid like this and it makes this really nice stutter that i really like and i've just done that for the last four notes in the four bar sequence and then i just clicked alt r or i just pressed alt r on my keyboard Randomize the pan and the velocity here to make it sound a little bit less robotic. And I've just got this basic clap as well, playing the basic clap pattern as they're doing trap, and together it sounds like this. Very nice. We've also got this ding perk, We've got this Charizard perk, and this M249 tweak sound effect. Those from Cody's 2021 go to drum pack. 
and I use the uh, the gunshot to sort of instigate a beat drop in the arrangement. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I've just got my tag. Ariza. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and play the full beat here. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Hit the bell notification bell notified next time I post a video. Leave a comment if you learned something. If you think this beat is fire, let me know. But yeah, that's going to be it. I appreciate you all for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, drink water, get some sleep. And if it's hot where you are, like it is here, grab a cold towel, wrap it around your neck, and stay cool. Or stay warm if it's winter. I mean, if you're in America or the US, America or the US, same thing. So, that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys on the next video. And as always, I love you.